I love to paint. Anything else, I'm no good at all. In the 20s and 30s in Chinese American communities, what could you hope to achieve? You could become a laundromat, a houseboy, or work in a restaurant. To be an artist was not a remote possibility. He's primarily a fine artist who spent three decades of his life working as a motion picture illustrator. Hollywood, and animation in particular, was very much an old boys club. It's not a pretty picture, but it's one that reflects the attitudes there. The very, very first day, the head of the department, he said, you are king. Tyrus has this ability to always bounce back. I discovered that they were making Bambi. After Walt saw Tyrus Wong's sketches for Bambi, he gave the go-ahead to hire him. Thank you, Walt. It's only really happened a few other times where the entire studio will cleave to one artist's style. You could actually see brush strokes on the screen. He is legendary and constantly on the minds of everyone here. Some pretty good work. I think you have a future. <laughs> I think sometimes we get blinders on and we think, oh, I have to be a, a great painter or I have to be an amazing uh, animator. When you look at Tyrus Wong's work, there's tremendous diversity to it. You know, his ceramic art or his greeting cards or his painting at Disney or his Warner Brothers work or his kite building, I think all of those are hand in glove and I think all of those relate to each other. It's almost a philosophy of how he wants to live his life. Tyrus' story is like an incredible flower growing amidst concrete and stone. It's so unlikely, and that's what makes it so valuable. <laughs>